Yo, what is up, Slinky? Right at you with another unboxing. Today, I'm unboxing a Nintendo Switch, but not just any Nintendo Switch. It's going to be a special edition or limited edition. I don't know. It's an Animal Crossing kind. It's an Animal Crossing theme. So let's just go ahead and just look through it. All right. Let me move it. It's out the way. Yeah, we went ahead and ordered this. Well, my wife went ahead and ordered this, and I told her, man, let me unbox it before she even messes with it. She's been taking over my Switch. So, please turn to me, And she's been playing the hell out of Animal Crossing. Ooh, this thing looks nice. Okay, okay. She loves Animal Crossing. She's trying to get me into it, which I probably will jump into it. She made her own island and all. So... Here's the front cover. It's really nice. Ooh, that thing is cute. I like that. Special edition. Yeah, there you go. It's special edition. I don't know if it's limited. It probably is because once they start and stop selling these, you know, it's not like you're going to get them all the time and be able to. So the box is nice. The front, everything else is the same. Here's the side, which is showing with the Joy Cons on it. And here's the back. And the side is about the same thing. And well, it just looks it has like a wood panel looking on it. But let's look at the switch. There's no okay, there's no tape for me to cut. Alright. So whenever you open it up, that's what you see. Two Joy Cons and the switch. So, let's see, did they do anything special to the Switch? Nah, it's just a regular black standard Switch. So, they didn't do the actual Switch. Probably they just did the dock. So, let me go ahead and move that to the side. Here's the Joy Con. Dual colors. It's a nice color. There's a little bumpers right here. It's pretty nice. Move that to the side. Here's the other one. I like that green. Okay, let me turn on this light here. Maybe you can see that green because the green on the screen doesn't look. There we go. And it has like a little beige color to it on the back. That's how both of the Joy Cons look. Let me take this out. That's some heavy cardboard. Get your little pamphlet thingy warnings and all this and that HDMI cord power cord standard stuff you know here's the um the Joy-Con holder ah uh, I was really hoping that they customized this as well that would have been nice that would have been really nice if they went ahead, went ahead and customized it so what you do with this you make this into a controller with using the Joy Cons, you just literally slide them in. If you're not familiar with it, you just slide them in. Boom, now you have yourself a controller. Which I like that. But if you're not familiar with the Switch, you could also use these as a controller individually. And I'll show you how. They have these bumpers here. There you go. And it, I like how it comes with straps. Let me move this to the side. Now, what you want to do is you see right here a plus and a negative. Match them up with the plus and a negative on these. I made a mistake of not knowing that before. I didn't break it, but ooh, it was a bitch to take out. Um, can you see that? There's a negative right there. You can see just a little bit right there 
Stop focusing on my finger. There you go. That gloss part, that's the negative. And then, here's the positive one. So the minus and the plus. Yeah. Right there. And Sorry, my green screen is messing up. Showing all black. Ah, screw it. Be all right. I need to get a new one. So what you do, slide these out. I think you just slide them out. I don't think you have to hit. Oh, yeah, you do have to hit the button, I guess. And this is the plus. So the plus with the plus. Just slide it in. Boom. Now, you have yourself a small controller. You use these for the bumpers. It makes it a little bit thicker, so you can hold it better. So it's it's still you. All of these buttons right here are able, you're able to use. It's awesome. And you just slide them out. You're not using it. So right now I'm just gonna throw it right back in here. So let's look at the dock. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice stop. That's pretty nice here to see. And it's colored all the way through, so that's a good thing. Here's your components, HDMI, well, <laughs> HDMI. This is your power button and um, uh, 3.0 USB plug-in. Um, I think like you could make it into um, wireless, uh, I mean, wired um, internet if you want to do it that way. Um, I never tried it. I know there's an adapter that you have to get, uh, so I never done it. I always did wire wireless. It it works great wireless. It has a pretty strong connection, especially in my room because literally the modem is right next to me. So I have no that I don't have that problem of where it disconnecting. But my wife uses it all the time. She's in the other side of the house. I mean, uh, the other side of the apartment, and um. Yeah, she doesn't have any problem. I've never seen her disconnect or anything like that. And she plays online and she always constantly plays on this. So, so yep. Here, let me move all this crap out of the way. Oh, uh, you know what I didn't get? I didn't get a screen protector for a switch. Man, this thing just dirtied up my mouse pad. Um, if it wasn't dirty already. All right, here's everything right here um, with the two Joy Cons. So pretty much everything that's customizes the um, it's different. It's the Joy Cons and the dock. So if anything else, uh, like if this uh, needs to be replaced, you could just easily get another one, I guess. So it just be a standard one. So it's not like a special edition or anything like that. It's just pretty much a standard one. Um, also, if you didn't know, like, like here's the screen, and it is USB-C plugin. The game goes right in here, and what I do like, which is pretty cool, like this thing is not very sturdy, but I still think it's pretty neat. If they have a stand on it oh it is lit oh my goodness look at that look at that it is oh man and all this time i thought i was just gonna leave it in there yeah that's awesome Hell yeah. I'm glad I took it out the package now. So anyways, what I was saying with the stand, they they have you can put a um 
uh, a chip in here so you can um, uh, storage for extra storage I can't remember how much is in here standard yeah I can't remember right now on top of my head but it's not it's not a lot it, it carries some games because I do have some on my other switch it carries some games so I'm not too worried about that how does it look with the joy thons I bet it looks awesome and I cannot believe I didn't know about the back of it. Oh, here it goes. Maybe? Yeah. Do I not know how to do this? Oh, because I'm doing it wrong. Ding a -ling. There you go. I was trying to put it upside down. There we go. That's how it looks. Load it on. Pretty cool. I like the colors on here. Not too shabby. So there you guys have it. Man, I cannot believe the back also has some imprints on it. And I almost skipped that out on the video. See, this is still standard. So everything else is actually everything is customized. It's it's special, okay? So ignore me when I said that if you <laughs> need to replace this, it won't be that big of a deal. It will be unless you're able to take out the back panel of this. But it looks like cam. Anyways, hopefully that never happens. That has to happen to you guys. So there you go. There you have it. That's on the whole video. I uh, appreciate you guys. If you guys have made it throughout the whole video, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel and haven't yet, go ahead and sub and hit that um, bell button so for those notifications. So thank you guys. You guys have a good day. Peace.